Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to prioritize one style over another. Uh, sometimes your HTML elements will receive multiple styles that conflict with one another. For example, an H1 element can't be both green and pink at the same time. Let's see what happens when we create a class that makes text pink, then apply it to an element. Will our class override the body elements color, green, uh, CSS property? Uh, to do that, we're going to create a CSS class called pink text uh, that gives the element the color pink. And then we're going to give your H1 element the class of pink text. So in order to create a uh, pink text uh, class selector, we're going to go pink, oh, pink text. And inside of there, we are going to do the color pink. Okay, so now we have a pink text selector. And so... Um, what we're going to do is add the class to our h1 element and inside of the h1 element we're going to write pink text inside of the class selector and as you can see the class selector has overridden the green selector of here so the class is overriding the body the body takes precedent over uh, initially but as we set the pink text in here that takes precedent over the body selector because the class takes um, precedent over the um, of the body selector and so if we run the test we'll see that they pass and that's how we pass it through now there's a lot of different remember that CSS stands for a cascading style sheet and that's this is the essence of of CSS and there's a cascading style order of the way that we style the what's called the document object model meaning the sort of body to the H1 elements and this sort of thing. And so that's what we're going to keep working on throughout these lessons. So I hope this was useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.